Growing up with very strict parents, they didn't always know how to say they love us. And you know, they were so strict from their upbringing and they didn't really know how to express those kind of things. And so um, oftentimes it came in the form of feeding us. You know, when we visited or, you know, when we came home from school, it was like, okay, have you eaten? Are you thirsty? And that was a form of love language that we kind of grew up to understand. I grew up in Taipei, Taiwan, but I actually was born in a tiny city called Xinzhu, and so it literally means new bamboo. My ancestors were displaced by war and they took refuge in Taiwan, and so my father had been a mechanical engineer and my mother was a seamstress but um, at one point trying to raise six girls it was really tough and when my aunt and uncle called um, from Tulsa Oklahoma and said we're starting a Chinese version of McDonald's and we're gonna do a whole series of Chinese restaurants fast food restaurants in Tulsa Oklahoma we moved from Taipei, Taiwan to Tulsa, Oklahoma. My aunt and uncle um, definitely were the entrepreneurs and they knew that economic empowerment was going to do more for the future generations to come and so they invested in these um, restaurants. It was a way to not only spread our food culture and our heritage but also it was a, a way to economically empower our people um, in the town and to really make it thrive and so my parents um, decided to pinch their pennies and invest in one of the locations here in Dallas, Texas. All the kids, you know, <laughs> got to work in the restaurant and I really feel like that's where I learned a lot of my life lessons that I still use to this day. My mom would always like remember what people ate and you know what they drank and probably had things ready and she had different ways to just bond with people. She didn't ever hesitate to give people free chili sauce or fortune cookies you know while my dad was like you're throwing away our profits you know. <laughs> my mom was like no we're investing in like community building and relationships and that's what kept people coming back. My mom would train um, other immigrants, refugees and migrants to come in our and work in our kitchen and she would train them with job skills and send them on to bigger and better opportunities. It was above and beyond what um, they needed to do, but they were invested in that, that really showed. It wasn't just about the blood relatives, it was people that she met in the community. She lifted as she climbed. You don't always get those kind of opportunities everywhere. It didn't matter um, your socioeconomic, racial background, she reached out and wanted to uplift the communities together because she knew the kind of social justice that happens is with this kind of economic empowerment. Lunar New Year is a big deal. We would eat lucky foods like um, dumplings that are um, shaped like gold money. And uh, for good luck, we would eat long noodles to symbolize, you know, longevity and oranges rhymed with uh, prosperity. And also just, it was so important for us to learn our history. So that was a way for our parents to kind of teach us about our culture. It's like, oh, this food came from, you know, these times and how it was developed with this region in China. And it's all these incredible forms of storytelling that really helps people understand that, you know, everybody is maybe a little bit different but really a lot similar at the same time you think about ingredients like rice you know how it's celebrated from all the different cultures and countries throughout the world and how people can take one bite into something and relate to another culture another heritage and that another experience and so it's almost like walking in their shoes in that way and um, and being able to bond with people over a plate of food is something that you don't need language and there's no barriers I have hope always um, for people when we embrace peace joy and love prosperity will come and so I think that's the best way to, to do this is to understand all the cultures from around the world and that's how we can have a brighter future together